So the calendar for the year 2025 is same as which of the following. And you can see it's 2029, 30, 31, 33. They are very close to 2025. Okay. So the best way to approach this question is you can take a reference date and figure out which of the answer choices is going to be the same day as that. Okay. That would be the easy way, the logical approach. It's not confusing. Everyone could be easily able to do it. Okay. Let's start with that approach. So I'm taking a reference date. Let's start Jan 1st, 2025. Okay. I'm assuming it as this as a reference date and you don't need to exactly remember what day it's going to be. I can, you can assume it as let's any of the day. Okay. I'm assuming it as Wednesday or you can take any other day. It's completely fine. This is your reference date and I know it's going to be Wednesday. Okay. And 2025 is a regular year. It's not a leap year. It's a regular year, 365 days. So if you remember the odd days concept in calendar, there is one odd day. So that means Next year, Jan 1st, 2026 will be on Thursday because it's a one note day. So the day will shift one day after. So it's going to be Thursday. And again, 2026 also, it's a regular year. It's not a leap year. So next year, Jan 1st, 2027 will be Wednesday because one day after. Similarly, 2027 is also a regular year. So 365 days, normal days. So one odd day. So Jan 1st, 2028 is going to be, uh, sorry, this is Friday, my mistake. So Jan 1st, 2028 is going to be Saturday. Okay. So we are close to the options here. And we know that 2028 is actually a leap year. See, it's a multiple of four. So it's a leap year. That means there are two odd days in this year. So that the, for that reason, Jan 1st, 2029 will be, you need to shift two days. So it's going to be on Monday. Okay. So definitely option A is eliminated because see Jan 1st, 2025 is Wednesday. Here in this calendar, it's Monday. They're different. So option A, you could eliminate. Okay. Now let's start with uh, Jan 1st, 2030. So 29 is again normal year. So just one more day. So next year, Jan 1st is going to be on Tuesday. So this also will not be right. So if I take one more year after, so Jan 1st, 2031, you just shift one more day, which is Wednesday, which is same as our reference date. See? So that means 2025 and 2031 definitely will have the same calendar because they have the same dates. So this is the best way to solve this kind of question because it's something you could relate and you could easily understand. So the idea is in this time period, the number of odd days should be zero. That's it. That's the idea. Number of odd days in this time period should be zero or any multiple of seven. Zero in the sense if it is a multiple of seven, which eventually is nothing but zero. A multiple of seven or which is same as zero. That's the concept. So you just need to check with 2025 and any any of these year, the number of four days in between them, is it zero or not? For 2031, it's going to be zero. So for that reason, option C is the right answer for this question. Option C is the right answer.